Hello everyone, welcome to Growth Partners. In this video, we're going to see uh, the power of Tally Prime 6.0, where we can import the bank statement, the Excel bank statement directly into Tally and then create vouchers from the statement. Let me show you how to do it quickly. But before that, I'll just show you uh, the version of Tally. I'll go to F1 help and then about. So this is Tally 6.0 beta version, which we are using. And like you can see, there's a slight change in the logo here. Earlier, we just had silver written here, but now we have Tally Prime Silver written here, uh, which is a slight change brought in by Tally company. So now, uh, as soon as you open the company, we have made a demo company. As you can see, there are no vouchers entered here. This is just a demo for Tally Prime 6.0. And we click on import, we go to bank statement. And then here we have to select the ledger, uh, which of the bank that we are importing. And mind you, if you have not given the account number in the bank ledger, it will not show you, in, the name will not be shown in the list. So it's mandatory to give the account number. So once you select the bank ledger, uh, here it will ask you the file path. And I have a sample file here. I'll copy this. But before that, I want to show you that the sample file is not formatted. The sample file is as it is downloaded from the statement. So the header is same, the footer is same, everything is same. If not changed anything and I'll just copy the path come back here and paste the path the file type will be supported and it, it is asking me file to import I'll click on show more and here is SBI file uh, because I've already imported this once for the demo it's asking me do you want to import it again I'll say yes and it is asking me if uh, preview is required so I'll tell yes and I'll click accept like you can see it's reading the bank statement file it's gathering the data and it's done so we totally for this account number of State Bank of India we totally have 54 entries and the last entry date is 27 Jan it has automatically picked all those entries and now in one click it will be imported into the tally I'll click import and it's done. So like you can see it's new entries imported successfully is 54. Now I'll click on bank reconciliation summary and here is a textbook view of BRS what we uh, usually saw in the in the college time. And uh, the, the first one is called balance as per company books which is obviously zero because we do not have any entries inside. And then we have unreconciled entries uh, transactions available only in books available only in bank similar to our textbook version of BRS. And here we have what we've imported uh, 21 plus 33 is 54 entries that we have imported. I'll first click on deposits. We have to reconcile these. For example, if I want to, uh, I know now all these entries are here and I want to post uh, create vouchers or directly from this entry. So there's an option called create voucher, right? So I'll, I'll go on the entry and then I'll click on create voucher. So I can, it will directly go to the receipt screen and the receipt is already automatically picked uh, considering uh, whether it was on the debit side or credit side of the bank statement and the narration is automatically entered right now since it is it's a receipt I'll select it as customer one and then I'll save it the same way we can do for all the entries or if we want to do all of them together we can just select the entries and then I'll click on create vouchers and one by one we can go on entering the customer name this is customer three let's say this is again customer one customer 2, customer 3, again customer 1, customer 2 and yes, right. Now it is asking me whether we have to mark, is, mark it as regular and reconcile or we have to keep it as optional vouchers. So as soon as you uh, link it with, with a voucher, you create a voucher, it, it becomes an optional voucher and now you can once we click uh, the button here, it will go as a reconciled voucher and a regular voucher, right. I'll click on this and once I say yes, now it's reconciled, right? I'll go back to the screen and here you can see that the entries have been reduced. We now have only 12 entries here. And company uh, balance as per company books, uh, we have 262 where all other entries are already posted here, right? Now we will, I'll show you another uh, magical feature where I'll just select a few entries and say all of them are receipts from single party. Now I'll click F7 and here there's an option called common ledger. So I can just select one ledger here and that name appears across the entries. This can happen for uh, say regular recurring payments or recurring receipts that you have in your books. And then 
I'll click Control A and again it will ask me whether I have to make it regular. I'll click on regular and say yes and it's done. Right. So this is how you can reconcile uh, the transactions directly. You can import the transactions directly from Excel and then make vouchers out of them. Now uh, in Gateway of Tally you have an option called Banking. Tally Capital is another option added in uh, 6.0 for which we will make a video uh, going forward. So banking, once you click on banking, there is there are two options, banking activities and imported bank data. Once you click on banking activities and click on SBI, you can see the same view where you can continue your creating vouchers uh, exercise. And once you click on imported bank data and select this State Bank of India, here you can have daily uh, breakup of the entries and you can also see it monthly. So for example, you can see all the entries here and like you can see here, so you can see the decon status as well. For example, this is only available in bank. So we have not still created a voucher out of it. And now this one is available via reconciled via linking. So we have done it uh, manually. And then if you come back and there are two views here, recon view. If you click on recon view, you can see what are the uh, number of entries that are reconciled and number of entries that are re unreconciled. So 13 plus 41 is again 54. So once you complete reconciling all those entries, so reconciled would have 54 and unreconciled would have zero entries. This is how you can uh, import bank statement into your tally, uh, no matter which bank, it can be SBI, HDFC or any bank uh, of India and it will work. Now here I, want to, I also want to show you if you want to clear the data that you have imported, uh, which is also possible, you can go to F1 and here you can go to troubleshooting here there is an option called reset bank statement data right you have to click on reset bank statement data you have to select the ledger and you have to say uh, what are the dates for which you want to reset the data so you do not want the data so now we have imported from 15 jan to 27 jan so i will say for example 20 jan to 27 jan i do not want the data in my system and uh, before that it is again it is also asking us if we want to retain the reconciliation status and you can select yes or no based on your requirement and i'll just say yes yeah yes so now you can we cannot see any entries after 20th right so that is the power of this this button where you can reset and this is how you can use the wonderful feature of banking in tally prime 6.0 for any more queries, you can reach out to us for the, to the number given below in the description and our team will solve all your queries. Thank you. Have a beautiful day.